Carbon credits. That's what it is. I just need to know if you're in. I've done something in my life, Mark. I, I don't need this. Where is she? She went out the back through the kitchen. She's going to Vegas. She's going to do it, isn't she? To be honest, I don't think she's going to make it as far as the taxi. All my life, I thought I was perfect. I thought I was the girl to be, the girl who was going to get somewhere. And then it slowly dawned on me. I am nothing more than the crushed leader of my few insipid friends. She's here. She's angry. She doesn't think she's done anything wrong. Meet Shannon Fanning. She is in this room for one reason. To verify the identity of the woman opposite her. The pair have history. They were once best friends. They both know their paths have crossed for a reason. But animosity runs deep. I just resigned from my job due to an impending scandal that was my fault. Well, that sounds fraud related, which means you must work in finance. Government or independent? Regulatory body. It's all being shaken up and split anyway. My name is Marcus Paget, and I'm returning your call as you inquired about our carbon credits trading scheme. This is Leonard M. Leonard. I've taken the unusual step of explaining to him, in person, how carbon credits work. I've done this because I've found out he has just received a relatively large compensation settlement. If money is involved, you can be sure that drink will be too. Alcohol is the lubricant of choice for those tighter financial transactions, but it's also the crippling descent towards decisions you would never have made sober. For the first drink, the pitch is actually razor sharp. On the second drink, it's time to work out exactly how much these people can afford to lose. I just booked a ticket to Vegas. What are you going to do there? I'm going to try to get to the airport as sober as possible. Then I'm going to do a Nick Cage. What's a Nick Cage? He purposefully drinks himself to death, but finds redemption along the way. <laughs>